You want to know how to hydro dip. I kind of know how to hydro dip. Let's hydro dip. Hello and welcome to episode one of Hydro Dipping for Beginners. In all transparency, I am not a professional hydro dipper, at least not yet. I just have a lot of experience or at least some experience that I think other people might appreciate because there seems to be a deficit of like true instructional series on hydro dipping. I've seen a lot of videos that give one-off information, but they don't ever seem to really follow through and mention all the different aspects there are to hydro dipping. So this channel is supposed to serve as a comprehensive collection of all the different aspects of hydro dipping, and this series is specifically for beginners. But without further ado, this episode is about what spray paints you want to use for hydro dipping. So let's get into it. The first and most important tip for when it comes to choosing which spray paints to use for hydro dipping is actually the finish of the paint. This essentially means how the spray paint reflects light after it's dried and what the final product looks like. For some reason, the paint seems to react the best on the water and going onto objects when it is a gloss finish. Other finishes don't seem to work as well. Based on my research from results others have had and from my own personal experience, I definitely think gloss is the finish you want. To be fair, I do not have the most experience in this department. However, I have tried hydro dipping with satin finish paints and the results have not been very great. And I'm not sure exactly where this difference comes from or why it affects it, but I do know that in my personal experience and based on what others have done, it plays a big role. So get the gloss paint. My second tip for when it comes to choosing your spray paint is the brand of the paint. Now, in all honesty, I have not tried every paint out there. I've actually only tried a few paints, the main two being Rust-Oleum and Montana Hardcore. I've only tried these two because from all the research I've done, people would recommend Rust-Oleum as the best beginner paint to get started hydro dipping with. Most people have really good results and I have had good results too, so honestly, I think it's the best way to start. Now I've gotten into the Montana Hardcore spray paints as well because I see a lot of higher level hydro dippers using that type of paint. People like Dipper Dan, Hydro, and a couple others out there seem to prefer Montana Hardcore, I think because they have really vivid colors, but then also maybe because it just goes on better. So that's something I kind of implemented, and it seems to have worked really well so far. Additionally, there are distinctions between like the subgroup of paint within a brand. So for Rust-Oleum, there's like the Professional line, the Protective Enamel line, and the Two Times Painter's Touch or American Accents. Most people seem to recommend the Two Times Rust-Oleum, whether that's Painter's Touch or American Accents, but I still do see a lot of people use the Gloss Protective Enamel, and that seems to work well too. Either way, I think you just want to make sure you're using Rust-Oleum, and either the Two Times American Accent or Painter's Touch, or the Gloss Protective Enamel. Now for the subcategory of Montana, I pretty much only use Hardcore, that's all I've really seen, and I think that's the best bet because they're all gloss to start with, so you don't have to worry about getting the wrong paint, and they've had really good results, and they just feel really good. Now my third and final tip for the spray paints you use to hydro dip is how you prepare them. So whatever spray paint you get, before you use it, you're going to want to put it in warm water for 20 minutes. This will get things warmed up and make shaking it and mixing it up a lot easier. It took me forever to find this tip and I wasn't really looking for it specifically, but when I tried it and applied it, it really did help me. So I definitely recommend warming your paints up and then after they're warmed up and you're ready to spray, make sure you shake them for a good minute or two. Those are probably good tips for using spray paint in general, but with hydro dipping, I definitely saw better results, less splatter, less inconsistencies, and it helped me and my confidence with doing projects. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope it was helpful for you to hear these three tips. Just keep in mind the finish of the paint, you're going to want it to be gloss. The brand of the paint, I would recommend Rust-Oleum for beginners, and if you're trying to step up your game, probably Montana Hardcore. And additionally, how you prepare the paint is really important. Make sure you warm it up or at least shake it really, really well before you spray it. Also, if you'd like me to do some more in-depth testing and really show you some like trials of different spray paints side by side, just let me know and I'd be more than willing to do stuff like that. Thank you again for watching the video, and if you'd like to support me and help me make more educational hydro dipping content, then feel free to subscribe. I hope this was helpful, and have a good one.